Parshas Miketz, Revi'i. The seven years of plenty have ended. And Egypt is sitting pretty with tons of food in all of the city centers ready to be siloed out and doled out to the people. And Yosef is in charge of all of it. But meanwhile, in the neighboring region of Canaan, which is just a tad to the north of Egypt, there's a Jewish family there, Yaakov Avinu's family and Yosef's brothers. And everyone's running out of food. Therefore, Yaakov says to his sons, Hey guys, why are you making us look bad? Everyone's going to think we're rich because we're not running in line to get the food in Egypt. Quick, saddle up, go down to Egypt. And I heard they got some food there. Go buy the food. Which sure enough, they do. They go into Egypt, 10 of Yosef's brothers. I say 10, we all know Yosef has 11 brothers. But Binyamin didn't go. Yaakov doesn't feel comfortable sending Binyamin because after all, he only had two sons from his favorite wife and one of them, Yosef, he hasn't seen in two decades. So he doesn't want to take any risks with Binyamin. Sure enough, they show up, they stand in front of Yosef, and they bow to him. They bow to this great Egyptian man that's about to feed them. Yosef takes one look at them and he's like, uh, Ruvain Shimon Levi Yehuda. He knows them, but they don't recognize him. Which I think you'll admit is rather strange. If you saw your brother, you'd probably recognize him. But as the Rishonim explained, he left before he had a beard. Now he's got a beard, probably one of those really cool like little Egyptian beards. Very, very nice. They don't recognize him. And he turns to them and he says, you guys are spies. And they said, no, no, we're not spies. We're brothers and we came to get food. And Yosef's like, no, no, you're spies. And they say, really, man, we promise we're not spies. We just came to get food and we're all the son of one man and one of them is gone. We have another brother who's not here. We haven't seen him in years. And then there's another brother that's back home with dad. And Yosef says, okay. Well, then here is what we can do. I don't believe you. I don't think you're brothers. I think you're spies. But maybe we can send one of you home to bring your little brother, and then I'll determine whether or not you're telling the truth. Now, I'll leave you with a question. Very strange. Yosef is king of the world. For all intents and purposes, he's second in command of the most powerful nation on planet Earth. He can't pick up a telegram to his old poor father who misses him terribly? He can't send them an email like, Dad, I'm fine. By the way, I'm also king of Egypt. Nothing. Nothing. He doesn't say anything to anybody. Why would he cause his father so much untold horrific pain? See you tomorrow for Hamishi.